It will have room to interpret and preserve the great maritime heritage of this area. We estimate somewhere in the range of 12 to 16 million dollars will need to be spent to do what we need to do on the waterfront. It's almost like they were confused. Trying to find the best pathway forward, that's exactly what we're trying to do. We do not intend for it to sit here. It was a quiet feud that spanned two city administrations, and it became the major point of contention between city and Gulf Quest officials for six years. Does the city of Mobile owe the Gulf Quest nonprofit more than $2 million for construction costs for which the city was responsible? Former Gulf Quest executive director Tony Zadro says yes. The Corps tests the sediment at the bottom of the bay before they begin to dredge it. According to their testing reports, arsenic and mercury are two of the most prevalent metal pollutants to have been found in Mobile Bay sediment. In 2006, the Corps tested the northern end of the bay near the mouth of the Mobile River. Half of those samples tested had mercury levels above the threshold, sampling four locations in the bay. However, it's still unclear as to what specific sources may be causing concerning levels in Mobile Bay. And good or bad, we're showing you what we find. 